position. And then let's get into our, into some movement. So from here, as I say, we're gonna explore a whole bunch of these elements that we've already begun to explore in this warm up. There's gonna be elements of kind of creating torque through the body to allow for a, a nice little bum spin. We're kind of looking at those transitions of going from floor up into a squat, into that fisherman's squat and out and around. So let's start here. We pretty much prep this in our warm up anyway. So let's bring our left hand down behind us, slide, slide. Right hands are gonna come down to the floor on this side. So this is where we begin to put that torque into the body. So from here, we're gonna pull our legs back. Okay, so this almost uh, torques and loads the front of the pelvic, the front of the abs up, low back gets short, and then we're gonna push and slide and come round. Okay, so just going through that again, we've kind of come from here, and again, I'm gonna do the opposite side, this time to the right hand, left bum, sorry, right bum, left bum cheek, hands come to the outside. So automatically, we're already beginning to leave our legs behind, to feel this tension draw through the torso, the legs draw back, and then we sweep around into this position here. So from here, obviously I've just stopped, but we're gonna try and use the momentum to come up into that little fisherman squat that we played with in our warm up. So we're gonna use that inertia that we've just created from here, sweep, through there, and as we do this, this right foot is still gonna come through. We've got our left hand has near enough come down to the floor and help slow, and then we're gonna push off our left toes as we've done the bum cheek on the bum spin on the left, and find our way into this fisherman squat here. So again, it's a case of trying to use the momentum of your trailing leg, your top leg in that bum spin, to bring your momentum off your left bum cheek and into that right leg. So one more time, we've gone from here, left hand, left bum, right bum, hands to the right, kick back, sweep, and as you come around, this top leg is carried on spinning, the right hand pushes you up to that fisherman's squat, and then from there, all we're gonna do is hands forward, down into the floor, little kick hop, and then we're gonna come back out. There'll be a little bit added on towards the end, but this is our basic sequence. So again, let's see what we can find. Find your squat. Again, it might be heels, it might be balls. So from here, weight bear into your uh, landing pad on the right, but keep it soft. We want everything to be quiet. Right bum cheek, left bum cheek, hands, Load that torso, sweep the legs round, come through into your fisherman squat, load the hands, step off, and walk away. Okie dokie. So, again, where do we go? We'll do the opposite side. We're in our squat, left hand landing pad, nice and soft, slide yourself back. Almost imagine there's a little push through your hand as well, just to give you that time. Hands then come around to the right. We kick and push, sweep round towards our fisherman, hands into the floor, stepping out. And again, in that handstand, at any point, it could just be a tiny little kick. But remember, as you do this little kick, the key is not to wait too long for your legs to switch over, okay? If you end up switching your legs too soon or too late, what's gonna happen is, as you come up, it's gonna feel super rushed. So you're gonna end up doing this. Or even if you try to do, if you try to do it too late, you're gonna end up going Rah! So they almost want to start switching on the way up. So as you come up, there's almost that switch at that point. 